Hello students, welcome to Fees Second Preparation. Today I will have your self introduction. Along with the self introduction, I will expect you all to share your concerns related to communication skills. I'll share my ideas how you can overcome the problems that you face in your communication skills. The very important thing is counseling. Once you are counseled to enrich your communication skills, you will definitely have it. So I would like to begin with your self introduction and then I will concentrate what the concerns you have and you want solution for the same. So let's begin with the chest number 31. Good morning everyone. My name is Suras Singh. I am from Lucknow. Currently I am pursuing my BSc from National, National PG College in Physics and Mathematics. I like to play cricket and listen, and listen music. My visit to Air Force Station Memora Lucknow inspired me to join Indian Air Force. That's all about me. Well, in chest number 31, I found some uh, observations in your self-introduction. It is never listen music. It is listening to music. And second thing is, you should also focus, it is really music or it is songs. So you should be very particular. Because sometimes in uh, discussion, it comes that uh, what is the difference between music and song. So music is instrumental song that is sung right that is from vocal so one should be very particular in this whether you love to listen songs or you have hobby of listening to music you should be very particular i also uh, noticed that you could add on your information in your self introduction because uh, self introduction is a is an opportunity that you can avail yourself for your better tuning with the SSR. You are getting such opportunity that is all self driven, that is driven by you. So one should not be in a hurry while giving self introduction. One should behave like information provider and one should try to satisfy the information seeker. Here the SSR is the information seeker. So you should give your introduction in a manner that, that should sound complete. You must be happy with your own introduction that you have given complete touch, final touch you have given. So talking about the pattern of self-introduction, it is pretty easy. One can, one should discuss name and then the place that he belongs to and one tagline of that place you can add. Further, since it is, it is the interview, so you can talk about your strengths first. Since it is the interview, just understand why to talk about his strengths first because this is the interview after your strengths you can discuss your academics many students cover up their academics in a very high speed in a very short time here my opinion differs you should cover your academics with interest you should also mention the name of school the year of passing and the percentage that you got any special achievement, any outstanding achievement, awards by principal, distinction in subjects that you should mention, 12th, 10th proper uh, idea should be there. If you are pursuing graduation, then you should mention at top. So one should tell about academics with interest, higher to lower. After academics, you can go for extracurricular activities. You can mention what all extracurricular activities you have. We have curricular activities co-curricular activities and extracurricular activities you should have clear-cut idea what these activities are curricular activities means related to curriculum co-curricular means the activities that support the curriculum extracurricular activities means more than academics the skills and the qualities that you have developed in yourself by participation in sports and uh, other group activities like debate discussion extempore, lecturate, such are extracurricular activities. So one should be very particular while describing extracurricular activities. Further, you may add your uh, uh, family background. Now the time comes for the family background because interviewer is interested to listen your detail first, not about your family first. Many times students begin with father's name, mother's name, their occupation, siblings. Actually such introduction has been at the basic level yes. that you have been uh, uh, working so far. But now since you are grown up, 
you are giving this interview for your professional career you have professionalism here expectations are different and here you should make your introduction in such a manner that should suit the listener i would like to add on after extra curricular activities and family background you can talk on your hobbies and interests and at last the way you begin in the same manner you should end up the discussion it's all about me thank you and yes aim of life also why you are able to conclude why you are going to conclude your introduction you should mention your aim of life also that this is my aim of life and uh, it's all about me thank you so one should be very happy while giving one's introduction one should have happiness alacrity on one's face one should speak loudly one should speak with clarity one should also give proper range to pronounce words proper range to pronounce words means you can take my example this time i am giving ample amount of time to the words that i am pronouncing so that is very important that makes your introduction very interesting now as for your question you had asked about eye contact eye contact so just number 32 give your introduction please Hello friends, my name is Raman Singh. I belong to Lucknow, a city in UP, famous for its traditional chicken work, culture, and art. I passed my high school and intermediate examination with 85 percent and 87 percent marks respectively, and currently pursuing my bachelor degree in science from Lucknow University. Utmost pride and honor. Thank you. That's all about. So you are not able to. One has to be ready with Hindi also. Probably you. So students, one advice I want to give you. do not make anyone understand you are switching your language yes sir. yes yes that now this is english now this is hindi don't switch it have it have it in natural way you take my example i am speaking in a same manner the way i speak in hindi yes and this happens when you apply english language in most of the phases of your life taking lunch in english interacting with siblings in english interacting with father mother even if your mother and father are not they are not able to respond then do you can do your part at least you can give their response from their end suppose they are not able to give but you can give yes. so guys you just have to engage yourself and it doesn't doesn't cost anything does it cost you no sir, no, sir. No, sir. there is no cost you just engage yourself what like you will be going now from here you are going by bus or by metro or by train whatever medium it is you have ample amount of time to think in english outside there is a lot of traffic jam this traffic jam happens see every time there is something that goes on in your mind that is what the content you have to target in english and we never need anybody's else opinion we never require anybody's else ideas we need our ideas to convey so when you work your on your own ideas in english it will give you confidence and it will make you a natural speaker yes right gentlemen yes, yes sir. sir so believe in this idea and uh, make your communication strong now uh, it is a time of chess number uh, 23 now so many friends my name is sachinand mishra i am from mavin nagar i have completed 10 plus 2 and i am passing year 3 there are four members in my family and There are four members in my family. Uh, my hobby is playing cricket. I wanted to join Indian Air Force because no reservation and no discrimination based on color, caste, and religion. Thank you. You should bring smile on your face while giving your introduction. You were very much focused and concerned, and very strict. You were looking. So I would say you will look more handsome if you add a smile on your face. That would be great. and again uh, that would be your real happiness along with this i found some pronunciation mistakes as well so work on your pronunciation part any question that you would like to ask related to your communication skills give final touch to your self introduction practice n number of times so that you can give your best introduction and you must read your introduction yourself once you say sir it is excellent performance from my side it will definitely be excellent 
right now what do you say it was the best introduction so when you consider that it is not the best introduction then i would just say you have mirror you have opportunity to practice we have made virtual group in that you can send your introduction you can have different reviews so you have to engage in such activities right yes. okay 38 give your introduction please good morning friends my name is anurag kumar i am from now uttar pradesh which is famous for its leather and chemical industries currently i am pursuing bsc second year from kanpur university i passed i passed intermediate from sjs public school bach sjs public school bachrama in 2019 with with 74% marks and intermediate and high school with high school with 9 cgpa from the same school in my family there are four members my father is a fa- my father is a farmer and my mother is a homemaker i like to play cricket and volleyball during my school time i pa- actively participates in inter branch competitions and also i won medals and i want to join indian air force be- because my uncle motivated me who is serving as a airman and his lifestyle and personality motivates me through promotions yes sir. yes sir you will go for ssb as well. yes, yes sir. sir then you will have multiple interviews the whole life has multiple exams so why to be so much tense about performance now students i would like to ask you one thing you improve with whom those who are better than you or those who are nowhere in your competition So speaking in front of such people who are better than us is a matter of pleasure for us. Jeez, man. Good morning, everyone. My name is Saurav Singh. I hail from Rajgarh district of Uttar Pradesh, which is famous for its modern coal factory. It is also the parliamentary area of Mrs. Sonia Gandhi. About my qualifications, currently I am pursuing. B.A. from Chhatrapati Shahu Ji Maharaj, Kanpur. I completed my 12th standard from Gopal Shyamshethi Vidya Mandir with 70% marks. I also completed my 10th standard from J.P.S. Public School with 92% marks. Coming to my hobbies, I like listening songs, especially patriotic songs, and playing indoor games. About my strength. I am physically fit and mentally sound. I never give up easily. I am a discipline oriented person. I am a cheerful and a very good mannered person. If I talk about my aim, my aim is to join Air Force because it is one of the best and prestigious job of our society and also because I want to touch the sky with glory. Thank you Navin Nath. so students uh, as per today's experience we found different answers given by you and we had analysis in this analysis we found that self counseling is really very important to bring uh, to overcome hesitation nervousness and bring confidence level second thing you must focus on your required parameters the required parameters are making good, good tuning with the interviewer making your answer clear making your answer Uh, in a manner that is to be listened and a person should find interest in listening in order to do all this i have already spoken on the qualities of your effective voice quality that is speaking louder it's a demand of english language reason being in hindi we are comfortable even if we speak slowly people are able to understand what we speak there are if there are people who are able to talk for half an hour over phone with very slow voice but same approach if it is applied in english it will be very tough is it so yes sir second thing rate of speech it should be very fast it should be normal third thing fluency fluency never means to 
speak in flow without considering the punctuation marks fluency means to speak without unnecessary pauses like within a sentence one has to be very clear one has to speak sentence confidently next point is punctuation the way punctuation marks are important in writing similarly punctuation marks are important in spoken as well next is indication once your message is clear once your message is over clear it indicate this clearly don't keep it in confusion as i said many of us keep thinking at last so do not think much at last in fact conclude it confidently that it's all about this answer ball should not be in your court ball should be in others court it means you conclude your answers well so i hope my tips will definitely be beneficial for you yes yes, yes sir. sir and i hope you will exercise these tips in your practical life yes, yes sir. sir so see you in next session best wishes from my side thank you jai hind आप भी बन सकते हैं हिस्सा भारत के रक्षा क्षेत्र में हमारी ऐतिहासिक कामयाबी की दास्तान का क्या आप भी बनना चाहते हैं अधिकारी भारतीय सेना में अगर हाँ आज ही ज्वाइन करें सेंचुरियन डिफेंस एकेडमी और ले इंडिविजुअल एंड पर्सनलाइज्ड गाइडेंस इंडिया के इलाइट एस पैनल से 